What is up guys, Karma Medic here, and welcome back to another dose. If you don't know who I am, my name is Nasser. I'm a second year medical student at King's College London, and I try and make these YouTube videos to help you guys out through the application process for medical school. Today I'm gonna to be reviewing Medify's BMAT course, their question bank, their past papers, and their tutorials. I'm gonna show you guys all the different features that it has, how it works, so that you guys can decide if you think it's viable for you. Of course, I'm gonna be throwing in my little tips and tricks along the way. Now, I'm also gonna be doing in-depth videos on the different sections of the BMAT, similarly to how I did for the UK CAT exam. If you guys are excited about that, make sure you leave a thumbs up on this video and subscribe to the channel so that you know when those videos are released. First things first, thank you to Medify for sponsoring this video. If you guys wanna check them out, I'll leave a link in the description and you can go to their website and see what they have to offer for you. Now, without further ado, let's go to my computer and jump straight into Medify's BMAT online course. All right guys, so once you've signed up to the BMAT course, this is the page that you're greeted with. We have tutorials here on the left, practice questions in the middle, and then past papers on the right. Now this is the order that I actually recommend doing the materials in. First, you wanna learn the theory through all the tutorials, all the different information that's relevant behind each section. Then you wanna practice those questions so you make sure you know exactly what it is that you're doing, what the questions look like on the actual exam. And then you wanna do timed practice with past papers so you can practice your timing throughout the whole exam. So let's start off with the tutorial section. So as you guys can see, the tutorials are split into section one, section two, and section three, which is pretty intuitive. Under each section heading, there is a ton of information. I'm gonna start with section one. Anything in gray, something that I've already clicked on anything in blue is something that I haven't clicked on before so it helps you keep track of what it is that you've read so far. So section one of the BIMA is all about critical thinking. It's kind of similar to the UK CAT's verbal reasoning section but in my opinion this one is a lot harder. Instead of just choosing true, false or can't tell as the answers you have many different types of questions and Medify here breaks down all the different types of questions under the critical thinking heading and then again under the problem solving heading. Now that's extremely useful because when you're doing these questions in the exam you want to be able to quickly identify what the question type is and what your strategy is for tackling that specific type of question. For example, the conclusion style questions, if we click on that link, it'll give us detailed information on that type of question specifically, how to tackle it, some examples and things like that. Now, as you guys can see here, there's just a wealth of information for section one and you guys can read it on your own. It'll give you a really good idea of the theory behind the types of questions in that section. Now let's move on to section two. Section two is all about the sciences. Now you might be thinking, great, I love science. I wanna study medicine. This is exactly what I wanna do. And yeah, you'd probably be right. I really enjoyed biology and chemistry in high school and I thought they were awesome sciences but then you also have things like physics, you have maths, and honestly, those are the topics that I really struggled with when I was in high school, and that's where something like this would have been very useful for me. So I hadn't done any physics since my IGCIC years. I found it a real struggle to self-teach and relearn all the physics from random books that I ordered online and things like that. So what Medify does really well here is, for example, under the physics section, there's of course all of these different subheadings, but if you click on any individual one of them, you'll be greeted with even more information. If we take a look at forces and acceleration, for example, you can see that there's all the relevant information the relevant equations as well, and then followed by diagrams and examples to help you really understand the theory that's going on here. So this is very, very useful because it only gives you the relevant information for that topic. If I was to go to a physics A level or physics IB textbook and start reading the chapter on acceleration, I would probably end up reading way too many pages than I need to actually answer questions on the exam. For every single one of the sciences, there is a wealth of information here. For example, if we click on organ systems under biology, you'll find all the different subheadings, tissues and organs, breathing and respiration, circulatory system and kidneys, everything that's relevant for what you are studying for this exam. I would definitely recommend having a very thorough read of all of this theory before you start tackling the questions, just to make sure you know what it is that you're getting into. This kind of reference becomes very important when you're doing practice questions. Let's say you're doing chemistry practice questions and you come across a question on electrolysis. I haven't studied it since year 13, which was 2013 for me, so that's over five years ago. I came back to this tutorial section and I searched for analysis and electrolysis. I clicked on electrolysis and then I clicked on the more specific section that I wanted to learn about and I read all the information there and it made understanding the question so much easier. So that's another time that this reference is really useful. You can see a question, not know what you're doing or not understand the theory, go back to the relevant topic in the tutorials, learn it and then tackle the question again. All right, now moving on to section three. Section three is probably gonna be the 
most daunting for a lot of you guys, but honestly, I don't think it's that bad. You have 30 minutes to write one essay, and if you go through enough essay plans and you take a look at enough past papers, you'll really start to recognize what the types of questions that commonly come up are, and you'll be able to quickly plan an essay no problem. You have the introduction to section three, essay question types, how's it marked, content English, timing strategy, how to choose your essay, how to plan your essay, literally everything you would need to start working on the essays. And then in addition to that, something that's really important is that they provide tons of past paper essay plans. For example, if we click down here, you can see that they have past paper essays from 2016 all the way to when some of you were born. You're just kidding, not that long ago. But anyway, you get the point. There are a ton of past papers here and you can click on any one of them to get more information about that question and a detailed essay plan breakdown. All right, I think that wraps it up for the tutorials part of the BMAT online course. Let's head back to the dashboard so that we can take a look at the practice questions. Now, practice questions, some would argue, is the most important part of your preparation. It's where you actually get to see what the question difficulty is like and how well your theory and knowledge matches up to actually doing the questions. Of course, if you guys know me at all or if you've watched any of my videos, I recommend doing so, so, so much practice. Do every single question you can get your hands on, expose yourself to as many questions as possible, because once you see a lot of questions, you'll quickly start to recognize patterns that consistently come up. Now, I've had a quick dabble into the questions. You can see that I've done a little bit of questions for each section, not too many just yet, but I'm gonna be doing a lot more for my in-depth BMAP videos where I go through every single section and answer questions live on camera. If you guys wanna see those, definitely stay tuned and subscribe to the channel. So let's say we wanna solve biology questions. We can select biology here and click start practice. I'm gonna read the first question. Which of the components of DNA listed below are found on the inside of a DNA double helix? pentose, sugar, phosphate, purine bases, pyrimidine bases. So we know that it's purine and pyrimidine bases. So I'm gonna select three and four only. You click mark and explain. It tells you whether you got the answer right or wrong and then it provides an explanation. You're not just solving questions mindlessly. You're solving questions realizing why it is that you got it right or why it is that you got it wrong. And that's extremely key when it comes to revision. Don't forget to focus on why you got questions wrong. That's probably more important than knowing why you got different ones right. Then you click next question. You go and solve the next question. You mark and explain, so on and so forth. You can see your question attempts if you want. You can also skip a question if you haven't covered that relevant material yet and it'll show it to you later. You can also filter down the questions that it shows you based on new questions that you haven't seen before, all questions, both ones you have and haven't seen, and then of course only incorrect questions, those that are your weak points and those that you want to focus on. That is really, really important. Once you're done practicing biology, you can hit the X over here, go back to the total topics, and for example, click on problem solving and start solving questions there. There are 1,372 questions. That is a lot of questions, and you really want to do them all. Trust me, if you guys are preparing for the BMAT, you want to do all the questions that you possibly can. You can also check your performance if you want so that you can see how you're scoring in every section. You can track each section, how you're performing so that you know where you're doing well and you can sort of take a little bit of a step back there and where you're performing poorly so that you make sure to focus more of your time and energy on that specific section. Once you've practiced all the questions to your heart's content and you feel comfortable with the different theory and application of it to those questions, you can start doing past papers. Past papers are an integral part of my revision strategy. They're an integral part of how I study I must, must, must do past papers because it tells me what the previous questions look like, the difficulty level, and what things I should be focusing on. Don't skip out the past paper part. Always do past papers before your exam, trust me. You can see that there are past papers for section one and section two. The past papers for section three were in the tutorial section, if you remember. And for each one of these sections, you have 14 past papers to go through. That is so much material. That is so much good practice. I would start by doing the most recent ones first. So start, maybe leave the 2014 to 2016 for like the last couple of days of your revision, but start from 2013 and work your way down to 2003 when you're doing your revision about a month or so before the actual exam. Once you start getting closer to the exam, you want to do the most recent past papers so that you have the most representative view of what the questions will be like that are going to come up right now. All right, guys, honestly, I think that's it. We've gone through all the different sections now. I want to conclude by saying that you just need to do so many questions for these exams. This applies to both the UK CAT and the BMAT. You want to do as many questions as you possibly can and having a question bank like Medify is something that can really help you do that. You also of course have the tutorials where it shows you the relevant information and then you have past papers that you can practice your theory, your questions 
and your timing strategy all in one place. In my opinion, this is a very organized, a very clean, simple and efficient way to do your revision for the BMAT. If you guys want to check Medify out, I'll leave links in the description and you guys can check them out for yourself. But for now, I think that wraps up this review of the BMAT online course. I hope I've been able to show you guys all the different sections, how it works and what it is that you get when you sign up to this service. And now you guys can go on and make your own informed decision about whether you think this is valuable for you. I hope that's helped guys. I wish you the best of luck in your BMAT revision. Make sure you keep an eye out for my upcoming BMAT videos with in-depth analysis of every single section. You know how it works, general tips, answering live questions on camera and all the rest of it. If you guys have enjoyed this video, definitely leave a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.